Alright, let's do this. Hi guys, welcome back to another motor vlog video. So in today's episode, I'm finally going out somewhere. That means that I can finally record something. So yeah, hey guys, welcome back. Hey, hi. Yeah, people are just staring at me at the front here. Look, those people in the lorry, they're just staring at me. Oh my god. So, um, based on the last video, I, I would say that from somebody who has like zero concurrent viewers and releasing their first video and getting 10 subscribers immediately with 30 views, I would say that that video was pretty successful, successful I'm not gonna lie. I just want to say those who subscribe, thank you so much. Uh, we hit 10 subscribers. And I'm very happy. Nice. So if you guys haven't already noticed, you would see that my camera is for some reason a bit lower. Well, there's a good reason for that, guys. So on the previous video when I was recording, um, I realized that the video was a bit slanted. So, uh, the, the reason why it's slanted is because it's a, a full face helmet. So, the mouthpiece gets in the way uh, to try and like straighten up the camera's positioning. So, I didn't know how to fix that. So, what I did was that I just, you know, tried going underhand this time. And I think it should be working. So hopefully this experiment works. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work out, but we shall see you when I edit this video. So in other news, let's talk about something cool that happened to us the other day. So if you guys don't know, there's this YouTuber. His name is Sharil, I think Berlandir, but I'm just gonna call him Sharil. I'm gonna just say Sharil. So, this guy, I've been watching his videos for a very long time. He's a motor vlogger. He's a Singaporean motor vlogger. So I've been watching his videos for quite some time now. Oh, that freaking spray on the lorry. Oh, he just sprayed the shit out of me, okay. Anyway, as I was saying, okay, I've been watching his videos for quite some time now and he's the main reason why I got into vlogging, uh, motor vlogging. Like, I, I got interested, I, I got inspired to do it. So, uh, yeah, I just saw him go around you doing his grab food delivery and yeah, I came across his channel where I just got my license uh, and I was trying to look for a bike. So, uh, I saw his... Uh, what what to be motorbike uh, video should I get? Eh, what motorbike? What to be motorbike should I get? Uh, video. So I watched it and I don't know. I just decided like, hmm, this look this guy looks interesting, and I decided to keep watching it. Yeah. But uh, before before that video, I actually already saw his video before. Um, the the one that's called I have the attention span of a goldfish. So I I watched that one before, but I didn't really know him that well because he was still pretty small during that time so then after that uh, I decided you know like uh, when I saw that to be video I was like eh this guy seems familiar have I have I watched his videos before and lo and behold I actually did so what what was the what what, what was so awesome about uh what was so cool is that he actually uh, uh subscribed to my channel and comment there lah. So I'm just a bit happy out because of that. Because you never, you, you rarely get somebody who you are uh, like watch on YouTube to like come and actually watch your channel right. So like this is like super interesting for me and super cool lah. Because I've been watching his video for a very quite long time uh, on, an, on an alternate account. Because uh, I created this YouTube channel, this uh, Ash Kasha for, for the purpose of this motor vlog, I, I didn't actually have uh, uh, this channel wasn't really used for anything beforehand so uh, I just decided to start vlogging with this GoPro that I borrowed from my brother 
after I got uh, uh when I when I keep watching, I was thinking to myself, should I start vlogging? Should I start vlogging? Like, cause it seemed very fun, but I was like, I'm a two, I'm a plate, I'm a plate driver. Would anyone be interested in watching me, uh, driving? So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna record. Cause you you rarely see a plate driver do a video, right? Because they'll be they'll be too insecure about themselves, right? Wouldn't you think so? Because they think like, why would anyone watch me? Like I'm so inexperienced. You think anyone would care? So I was like, why not I record myself as a pre plate driver? The journey of me having my first year on the road. You know, I was thinking of like, what if I document my one, my first year on the road? Who knows, like all the different shit that could happen and anything. Uh, I could I could just like keep it uh, keep it as a memento somehow. And like let's say in the future, in the ten years time, I'm like, huh? I wonder what it was like. I can like you know watch myself do it. So yeah, that's why I decided to just record. Anyways, uh yeah, Cheryl, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> okay, one thing I can I need to say right is that this under under shot of the of my camera right bumps into my right shoulder if I'm turning my head right. So what happened today, guys? So, um. So today I went uh, went down to get my bike checked because there was this issue with my bike. So um, what's happening is that the front tires of mine, uh, after a week or two, they will require me to pump air inside again. So uh, you see me in my last video where I pump air. So that was one of the inc that's one of the incidents where uh, inc instances where I required to pump my air again because. I don't know why. Uh, for some reason, I think air is being leaked out or some shit. So I I I I was worried lah. Maybe there was a puncture somewhere, and I couldn't find the reason why. Hold on, this road is quite scary here. So I went to get my bike checked, and there was no puncture or whatsoever. So what the main issue was, right, was that. The rim was not. Uh, there, there was a gap between one uh, one side on the rim to the rubber part of the tire, so it basically uh, kept leaking out air. It kept leaking air uh, in small amounts, but you know, small amounts can uh, amount to anything uh, to big things. Uh. so uh, there was an issue there. So I asked uh, my uh, my dad during that time he was there. Uh, he asked, "How much would it be to? How much would it cost to replace the tire?" And the dude said, hundred dollars." And I was like, "Bruh, I'm like a student. There's no way I can afford that shit, boy." So like, I was like, "You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna. I rather deal with the fact that I have to pump my air every week, uh, once, uh, than have to pay hundred dollars. Because either way, right? When I uh." When I fuel fuel my I, I often fuel my tank. So I was thinking why not I just pump air while I am uh fuel uh fueling up my oil. Because the thing is right I do not like to let my uh gas capacity go lower than half. I prefer if I constantly had it full, some sort. Like so far, I never had my gas tank go lower than three bars. So I was thinking, why not? My wife might as well. If I want to go fill up my gas, right? I'll just like pump my tire as well. So the dealer also mentioned that the that my that my tire was getting old and it was cracking. And I should replace it uh, sooner. So I was just like, you know what? I'll replace it when I truly need to. So like, if I see that the threads are threads on the tires are really gone, right? Then that's when I will buy the tire. But then again, the this bike only is only gonna last me a year unless I re decide to renew my COE. Um, in that case, then I'll get a new tire then lah. 
but for now I'm gonna deal with this janky tire for another few months if it survives that for that long so while I was there I bought some accessories uh, you can tell here look one two three there's like three sheets here but they were all uh, put together at separate times so the clutch arrived first and the balance afterwards but I waited until I had a major issue that required me to go to the dealer because I don't want to go to the shop just to fix something right just, just to add on an accessory so I was like you know what I'll just wait until something important requires me to uh, go there so then I can do it at the same time but anyways uh, I'm, I've made it to where my destination is supposed to be uh, when I go home uh, when I'm on my way home I will talk to you guys later again so BRB